This is Lafa stemmen confertus. Uh, used to be called Tristania conferta, or Brisbane box is the common name. It's an evergreen tree. It uh, gets to about 35 to 40 feet tall, and as you can see, it's more upright. So, you know, 15 to 25 feet wide is typical and can get wider than that. Um, it's nice. It looks kind of like it's a eucalyptus, but it's not. Um, and it's got other similar characteristics. Some of the leaves, the bark, and even the seeds are very much like a eucalyptus. So the way it's useful, it's used a lot in the uh, Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area as a street tree. This is in Oakland in, uh, as a street tree, uh, these different plantings you're seeing. And um, I used to use this in San Luis Obispo, which is central coastal California, and I've seen it used down in LA as well. It's only hardy down to around 20 degrees Fahrenheit, although I saw somebody try and use it in my area and in the low 30s it got burned badly. So uh, I really don't recommend trying to use this if you've got any kind of regular frost at all. It just doesn't seem to tolerate that. Here's a good look at the foliage and also the seeds. You see some fresh ones there that are greener and then some of the older brown ones. And here's a good look at the deeply furrowed bark. It flakes off in big sheets. And that kind of leads me to the next thing. I mean, this is listed as being a good street tree uh, by some um, publications, but I would not agree with that. My feeling is it's too messy. The bark combined with these seeds, and you saw how many there are, uh, creates quite a mess on the ground. And these trees, when I was filming, the ground was just littered with all of this stuff. So my feeling is it's a little too messy for a good uh, street tree solution. I would want to use this in an area where there's some ground cover or other plantings on the ground under it that uh, people wouldn't be walking on and dealing with the mess of the plant. So that would be my preference for this one. Uh, as you can see, it's, it is evergreen and it's got a nice density to it, good looking foliage. But also look at the brownish black that you see on these leaves. Uh, this was, these le ple plants all had some kind of sooty mildew. This is a foggy area in Northern California during the summer. And a lot of plants don't really take well to fog and so my sense is is that because of the fog you're getting this sooty mildew. I did not see that in San Luis Obispo when I worked down there and, uh, and went to school there and um, they didn't really have the amount of fog that this area right here does. So I suspect that has something to do with the um, discoloration on the leaves that you saw there. So be aware of that possibility as well. And I think that they're very drought tolerant once they're established. These aren't getting any water at all where they're planted. And um, in, in Northern California, very dry air during the summer. Our humidity is under 20%. And we go five to six months without any rain whatsoever. So it kind of shows you how well they can tolerate drought. And that's what I can tell you about Lophostemon confertus, Tristania conferta, or Brisbane box. Very nice evergreen tree, not too large. Does well next to buildings actually because it's more upright and so it kind of scales vertical buildings. That's one of the ways I like to use it. But I would just try and do that in the context of not using it along over paving where the mess could become an issue. Enjoy.